Hi friends, welcome to my channel and this is part 15 video in VCP7 data center virtualization 2020 and in this video we are going to see how to create VMware cluster and enable DRS vSphere vCenter server 7. So let's get started. So um, the first thing we need to understand what is um, cluster and what is DRS. So the cluster is, is basically a group of ESXi host or you can say then ESXi or a physical node which work together to run the virtual uh, virtualization uh, infrastructure. So like um, uh, for example if you have a cluster which having three nodes and one host goes fail the virtual machines will still going to remain running uh, and it's going to migrate from one host to another host to uh, provide us failover so this is a kind of cluster work where the uh, basically it's going to provide us the high availability with some extra features like like VMware having its um, its uh, DRS to load the distribute or distribute the load among of the ESXi host so there was uh, there was basically multiple things and multiple technologies involved in clusters so which works together to uh, together to provide the uh, failover and uh, um, compute resource monitoring and compute resource load balancing and everything so basically cluster you can see uh, say in a uh, simple example it's going to be a group of ESXi host or group of compute resource which works together to provide the uh, high availability for the VMware virtual machine infrastructure so you can see here we got three ESXi hosts and all three ESXi hosts having having like CPU storage and memory and all this going to be over to go there to provide the high availability for the virtual machine in case anything goes wrong with the virtual machines virtual machines is going to migrate from one host to another host by using the V motion so uh, so this is my demo environment which we are going to use in this demo to provide you the overview of uh, how to create a VMware cluster and enable uh, DRS vSphere vCenter server 7 so the first machine is Win2K19 DC01 so this is my active directory so domain control you can see my domain name is leftsons.com and if I go here you see this uh, this is running active directory and DNS server and this is Win2K19 DC01 so this is my domain control and second machine which I have is going to be my vCenter server appliance which is VMware vCenter server appliance 7 so this is uh, INV uh, VCS is 01 so this is also joined in my domain so you can see here this is my uh, vCenter 7 INVCS is 01 which is running vCenter version 7 and we got two ESXi hosts ESXi 01 and ESXi 02 so if you see here both I, I got two ESXi hosts ESXi 01 and ESXi 02 both are running on my VMware work session and both ESXi host is in added in my cluster uh, basically in my uh, VCSA and uh, I'm going to create a cluster by using these two hosts so to create a cluster you need to right click on the data, uh, data center and just click a new cluster and then you will see the option the cluster name location where it's going to be so this is going to be your data center which is virtual so that's why you need to right click on the data center and then here we have option to enable the uh, DRS we got option to enable the HA and vSEN so let's get started so I'm going to call it like broad cluster and we got option to enable the DRS so I'm going to work on DRS on this video and then we are going to do the uh, HA next video so let's enable the DRS so once you enable this and click OK first you need to click OK so it's going to give you the option so you can see the uh, what the option is so automation level fully automated and the migra uh, migration threshold is 3 so we are going to customize this so just you can go ahead and click ok so also we have option to manage all host in the cluster with the single image so you can see here so you can basically um, this is kind of uh, like uh, you can see the advanced feature which is in enable in uh, vCenter 7 so you can uh, provide the 
uh, ESXi host which is running on uh, ESXi 7 and you can use the same baseline on all the ESXi hosts so we are going to see this also in later videos so just click on OK and now you will see the cluster is created so if I go here you will see the storage total pro processors total vMotion migration and uh, CPU and other things is going blank now so what I'm going to do I'm going to migrate my ESXi host to this cluster so to do this it's going to be very simple just drag and drop so you will see so add ESXi01 so just drop there and you will see the put all host in VMware so this is going to be a default for the basically to move the host in the cluster so you can go with the default this is basically going to be cluster root resource pool so ok with this and now you will see the move host to into cluster completed and let's migrate the second host so just drag and drop click ok and you will see now both the ESXi host is now moved in my prod cluster so if I go here now you will see two virtual machines in, a, in basically VMware and template views and if you go to host and cluster view you will see this uh, cluster inside that cluster you we got two ESXi hosts and now you will see the on when you click on cluster it will show you the total processor CPU memory and storage everything details you can see from here also if you want to see you can see the virtual machine how much virtual machines we have uh, running in this cluster the total power on power off you can see also we got some like extra if you have a custom attribute you will see and this is v, uh, vSphere DRS so you can see this is basically a 98% uh, you can see the uh, uh, what you can see the compliance is 90 to 98 percent which is which is all good so why this is showing this because we got I think one yes uh, one virtual machine on each ESXi host so this got on ESXi 01 and this is on ESXi 01 so that's why it's showing us the DRS is fully um, you can see the uh, compliance and you can view the DRS setting if you click here you will see all the settings here and also you can view all VMs if you click there you can see all the virtual machines on the cluster so now let's go and configure option and you will see here HA is, uh, HA is currently turned off so we are going to enable in next video so let's focus on DRS so if you go here you will see the DRS is fully automated if you want to edit it you just click on edit and you will see all the advanced option you which you can customize as per your requirement so the first thing is automation level so if you set to manual it's going to be a basically give you the uh, what you can say it's going to give you the recommendation where you want to put the uh, virtual machine so it's not going to even do any and uh, any uh, distributed uh, resource scheduler automatically task so this is going to be partial automated is going to take the decision on the what's uh, 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 w what needs to be done and if you select the fully automated it's going to be 100 percent going to be fully automated so most of the time this is going to be fully automated and once you select the fully automated you don't need to worry about anything it's going to my migrate virtual machines by itself and it will try always it, it will always try to make the um, all ESXi host on the same compute uh, availability so you can see the migration threshold you can move to aggressive so it's going to be always try to um, load the uh, load the balance on the ESXi host so I, I recommend don't go with the aggressive so it's uh, because it's always going to compare the ESXi host together and going to migrate virtual machines from one to another host so let's uh, I recommend to go with the four or uh, fourth which is aggressive more frequent v, uh, v motions so if you go here you will see the VM distribution you can force it so th uh, they have a very uh, good uh, options to do the 
basically customization for the DRS and you can customize as per requirement but the most most uh, uh, most common thing you, you just set it to full automated and forget about DRS so it's going to make sure everything is good and everything is uh, uh, going to be loads are going to be st equally distributed among your ESXi host so so to test this if I migrate basically if I you can see this is running on ESXi 01 and if I shut down this machine uh, let's power off this machine I'm going to shut down this machine and migrate this machine on ESXi 02 so our both virtual machines is, is going to be on ESXi 02 and then what I'm going to do I'm going to basically power on this machine and we'll see what the DRS is going to perform with this machine so change the compute so I'm going to migrate it to ESXi 2 and once you finish you will see this is on ESXi 02 and this is also ESXi 02 so now if I power on this machine you will see power on virtual machine is completed and you can see it's running on ESXi 01 so means the DRS work, work there and DRS take the decision to power on this machine on ESXi 01 because to uh, shift the load and uh, to make the uh, make the decision where where the ESXi uh, where this virtual machine is going to be powered on based on the virtualization uh, your virtualization uh, basically you can see the ESXi host uh, compute resource uh, uh, dependency so it's going to migrate your machines from one uh, ESXi host to some second ESXi host by itself so this is this is done by DRS and if you want to view the log you can also see the logs in the in the monitor section so if you go to basically events you can see their DRS power on so if I minimize this you can see the uh, I tried to power on this machine by my user itself and then a virtual machine is powered on by the user and DRS choose the host for the virtual machine based on the current load distribution so this is this is done by uh, DRS and DRS move this uh, uh, take it, uh, taking the decision to power on this machine on ESXi01 so this is all about how to create a cluster and how to enable the DRS in vCenter server 7 so thank you for watching and please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any query any question related to this you can always post me on my given mail IDs thank you once again bye bye